Oh, Creoles are really fascinating. It's the closest thing to language starting again. What happens is that, let's say there's some situation where somebody learns another language only partially. You know, a few hundred words, some shards of grammar. Most of That's frankly what most of us do in school. Suppose you, you have that, but for some reason you end up having to live in that. And you're with a whole bunch of other people who've learned the language to that level, speaking probably a few different languages, and you're not going to default to any of them. Like, you don't know Polish, the Polish person doesn't know English. And all of you speak this, this low-level, say, German or Russian. And the situation is that you're going to live in that language, talking to each other in that language forever. What happens is not that everybody just stays speaking with a 300-word lingo. What happens is that people naturally expand it by using the words, by using bits of grammar from their native languages, and you fill it out into this brand new language, and that's a Creole. Often you hear that it's children who turn it into a Creole, but the truth is, if you look around the world, grown-ups can go a very long way towards expanding a pigeon, as you call it, into a real language, a Creole, as you call it. And the truth is that that situation happened most in the previous millennium under conditions like slavery, orphanage, labor, military conscription. It was people who, for some reason, were in the frankly rather eldritch situation of speaking a language badly and needing to make it into a real language. So a lot of these languages were born in tragedy, an awful lot of them with plantation slavery, for example. But the result is a brand new language. And these are languages that are less gunked up with the needless complexities that languages that are older have. And so it's not that they are, you know, absolutely elementary, but they show that they've only existed for a few hundred years. They don't challenge you with a whole lot of nonsense in that way. And there are several dozen Creole languages spoken around the world. There is some controversy in linguistics over whether Creoles start as pigeons and their language is born anew, or whether Creoles are just what happens when language is mixed together and there's no reason to think of them as anything different. I believe the first version, that was what people thought about Creoles until about 20 years ago. And to be very glib, I think that the linguists who think that Creoles are just what happens when two languages meet are wrong. Mm. I have to say that, but I'm not going to pretend that they do not have their say as well. But Creoles are much more interesting than that.